Agenda item nine is consideration of approval of resolution number 724, approving a land lease between the city of Mesquite and DDO Utah for 21,022 square feet, approximately 0.49 acres of city-owned land located at 454 Sand Hill Boulevard. Mr. Baker. Oh, hold on a second. We will go to Mr. Timmons. Thank you, Mayor Council. The cover sheet for this item indicated that there was a supermajority requirement. I did some research regarding that requirement, which was a former requirement of NRS 266-267. What I learned in researching that was that that requirement was taken, taken out of that NRS provision. Um, so this is a majority, majority vote requirement. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Baker. Mayor, Council, um, I'm before you this evening. Um, on behalf of DDO Utah, uh, DDO Utah several months ago approached the city of Mesquite about leasing a piece that the city of Mesquite owns that is adjacent to the old Burger King site. DDO Utah is looking at acquiring that site, um, demolishing the existing uh, restaurant facility and constructing a new facility um, there in the coming months. They would use this overflow area that has traditionally been used by Burger King again as a parking area, no new construction um, for their restaurant would occur on this site. Um, <coughs> staff did go through the process dictated through NRS in order to lease land. Um, part of this process requires that a resolution be approved. Um, that's what you have in resolution 724. The applicant is asking to lease the land for less than fair market value. Um, currently, the city receives $75 for a portion of the area that is proposed to be leased from um, by DDO Utah. Uh, so with that being said, um, DDO Utah is available. The representatives are here. Um, if you have questions of them, and certainly I'm available to answer questions as well. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Questions from Council? Councilman Haven. I, I would like to hear from uh, uh, DDO Utah. The, I know there's some representatives in the audience. Just uh, they just want to talk about the discrepancies between where they are, and I think we all understand that the uh, <clears throat> those two appraisals were, you know, they were probably pie in the sky. So, um, but just like to get your thoughts on that. Okay. The Mayor, Council, thank you very much. First, I'd like to say, I'm really impressed by the citizens of your community for what uh, involvement in taking care of uh, many things throughout the community. So. Uh, thanks for uh, having me. Um, I think the the one thing that uh, I'd like to explain is Mark. Can can we just get your name for the record? Oh, I'm sorry, Mark Peters. Thanks. I'm sorry. And an address too. And uh, Prescott, Arizona, uh, fourteen ten, High Valley Ranch Road. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, and I think uh, uh, I guess to to give you an indication uh, that under fair market value, that we're we're proposing. A number because we're also been asked to maintain the landscaping, uh, keep the parking lot upgraded. Uh, if there's lighting out there, there would be electricity, uh, and all those things. So I think there's just a, a discrepancy on what we budget that all of those items will cost, and and what the city is budgeting all those items will cost. You know we feel like we're pretty close to fair market value when you add all that stuff in there. So uh, question from Ms. Councilman Ramson. Yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, first question, I guess, is in this discrepancy. Uh, at, I've been in that parking lot. It's a pretty rough condition. Um, is there any immediate, I guess, goals to do any improvements? Yeah. Um, when, when we construct a new building there, we'd want it to look as nice as possible. So we would probably do a, an overlay or something like that to, um, to make that facility Okay. So there will be significant investment into the property yes. initially. Yeah. Thank you. Councilman Haven, did you have a question? First of all, I want you to understand that we do want to scale up ski. We want to work with you. That's one of the reasons I, you know, just clarification on that. Um, as I said earlier, I think we all realize that the appraised number is, I don't think any of us are considering that. Um, What's good, 
it, for you, it needs to be good for the citizens because we want to support, we want business here, and, and it'll increase that entrance at exit 122 and unify looking forward for a new building. So um, I'm prepared to kind of make a suggestion. I don't know if there's other questions. I'll wait in here, and then if there isn't, uh, I'll go ahead. Okay, thank you. Councilman Rapson, do you have another question? Uh, just sort of, it's probably a follow-up to, to Councilman Hafen's. Um, aside from the, which there's a construction budget of $1.4 million, which is raising and, and constructing new new building and some other equipment and so forth, which is a sizable investment, no question about it, and thank you for that. Um, and then the immediate repair and, and reconditioning of the parking lot is a, is something that's very important. I think it's pretty big up. Maintenance, obviously, is, is maintenance, and there is a cost involved with that. Um, but I'm, I'm struggling just a little bit with the, the discrepancy in the 285 versus the 600. That's a big discrepancy, which should be fairly easy to figure out by looking at historical you know, costs and so forth. What, where, why is there a discrepancy? Um, I, I think just uh, our background, and just so you know, um, my sister and I as a family-owned business, and we currently operate 70 Taco Bells throughout Utah and Arizona, um, and we operate probably 30 small communities, much like Mesquite. So I, I think, you know, we're taking our historical data and you know, what we use, what it costs us to maintain a property, you know, um, electricity, property taxes, all of those kind of things, when we based our numbers off of the historical data of what we've seen over the last 30 years. Um, and that, so, I, you know, and I think um, that's where we came up with our numbers. I'm not sure where the city, you know, was coming in. You know, we're, we're trying to give us also, we want to keep the site up and keep it looking good and all those kind of things. So, you know, we want to make sure that we have the capacity, the room to succeed here. We don't want to we don't want to come in here and four or five years later be having trouble staying here. So, maybe we can have Mr. Baker come up real quick and answer the other side of that question, and I'll go to Councilman Gus Davis. The uh, the discrepancy comes in, I guess, in, in some of the associated costs. They are going to assume landscape maintenance, liability insurance, maintenance and repair of sidewalks asphalt, property taxes, et cetera. Um, and just in talking with their staff, some of the numbers they provided with me, I, I felt um, were a little high for the Mesquite area. And so I, I called several businesses around here and asked, what would you charge to something along these lines? And that's where the adjustment comes in between the two. So there was a feeling that some of those were more than necessary. Certainly there's an appreciation for the um, fact that there's some insurance and what those will actually be, because um, someone can tell you something and you don't know that for sure until you get the bill. Okay, thank you. Councilman Gus Davison. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I certainly would agree with uh, Councilman Hafen on the appraised amount. Uh, just for those in the audience that don't have a copy of the sheet, the appraised amount is $1,312.50 per month. Uh, the uh, the staff recommendation on this is six hundred dollars uh, a month for the first five years, and then six sixty with the, the uh, ten percent increase uh, for the for the uh, subsequent next five years. Does that number seem to be? I mean, that's half of what it appraised for. Does that seem to be a fair number? For you? Um, it, you know, it seems a little bit high to us. I mean, I think that, you know, if that was, you know, where we were at, you know, I might ask the council to consider, you know, keeping it at 75 where it is now, just the access, and then we would use the excess parking. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Withheller. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Going over the, the existing figures, um, we currently receive $75 a month for the, with the existing lien. And the current staff recommendation is for $600. That's a 900% increase. 
if, if I may respond to that, the difference is, and I have a map if that's helpful for people um, in the audience to see, I can, would be possible for the subway. Currently, um, HKM, the leaseholder presently, leases uh, approximately 0 0.08 <laughs> acres. Currently, HKM leases this piece right here, strictly for access. It's 0 0.08 acres. DDO Utah has asked to lease not only the access area, but in addition, this parking area, which HKM has leased in the past, but then asked not to lease it or use it anymore. So that we're going from 0 0.08 to 0 0.49. So it's just a, it's a difference of 0 0.41 acres. That's why the difference from 75 that's where the jump is. Well, that seems, uh, it just seems a little out of sorts that uh, we would look for something like a 900% increase even even though we're, we're uh, under a third of an acre in, in size in addition. Um, it's hard to quench those numbers for me. Thank you. I have a quick question. Maybe this would go to Mr. Sawyer, maybe to you, uh, Mr. Baker. What is our current maintenance cost on that particular piece of right away at this time? Do we know? We presently do not maintain that as maintained by HKM2 LLC, the current leaseholder. I'm, I guess I'm confused because you said just the, that little piece at the bottom, just the ingress, egress is what they're, they're using is that correct is that what they are paying for yes okay so they're taking care of that but what about the other part that's our responsibility we don't know or we don't do anything okay one more question for Kurt or or Mr. Baker um, did the city pay for that particular piece of property or was it deeded to us directly from from MDOT Go ahead. That was Mr. given to us from MDOT. So we have no no financial no. going out to that. All right, thank you. If I may, just one comment there. We inherited the lease that HKM has <coughs> currently from MDOT. That was not negotiated between the city and MDOT. That's why we're entering to a new lease since neither party was part of the original agreement. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from council? I have uh, Councilman Haven's light. If not, we'll go ahead and defer to Mr. Haven. Go ahead, Councilman. George might want to say something first. All right, Councilman Rapson. Yeah, I'm, I want just want to look at this from a, a little different perspective. I mean, right now we have a business that's failed there, and, and I'm sure that the property tax, if not, has been adjusted down. Will soon certainly be adjusted down with not an income-producing property. <clears throat> um, we have a piece of property that's never been maintained really um, since NDOT had it. There is an investment, a sizable investment in the new business, and there's a sizable business, uh, investment in getting the parking lot up to par, and the likelihood that perhaps an alternative may be that nothing happens to that piece. My experience has been that even when it was Burger King, they got use of that parking lot by simply its proximity, and vehicles used it and continued to use it and nobody paid for it. So, I mean, on the one hand, I'd like to get more money. I'd like to get a little bit more, something more, and I don't know what that is, but on the other hand, if, as the gentleman spoke, the alternative is, is just to let it go, and there's ample parking uh, with the code, uh, sufficient for the code purposes without it, then there's no imperative that they take this property. Um, I would prefer to see him take it and pay something, and I'd prefer to see him and uh, maintain it. So I think there's there's another perspective here that we have to think about. Um, something might be better than nothing. Thank you, Councilman Rapson. Uh, Councilman Hafen, I do have another light from Councilman Littman. Would that be okay? All right, go ahead, Councilman Littman. Just want to comment. We need this business in town. 
And I think this city has to bend over backwards to get this business here. The, the, the proposed 25 employees that will come in in Mesquite uh, that are probably 25 residents right now that need a job will more than make up the difference uh, in the appraised value of a piece of parking lot. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Littman. Go ahead, Councilman Hafen. Well, as I said before, we uh, I think we all agree that we'd like to be here. I'm going I'm to propose something, and uh, you know, hopefully it works. And, and just so you understand, like with the numbers. If you take the 75 and, 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 and equate it into the, the appropriate square footage, that puts that rent at 459. First couple of years of the business is the toughest. You know that, you've been in that market, you understand that. I'd like to propose that we, uh, for the first two years, we're at 300 a month, the second two, we're at 400, and in the last year, the first five years, is at 500. That's a $100 difference a month for the first five, and then the second five is at 500. And at any time during this, this process that you feel like that that is a hardship, I would invite you back because over a few years, a lot of us are going to be sitting here. And uh, we will, if we have to make some adjustments, I, um, we'd love to hear from you. But I think that that's, that's fair for you. I think it's fair for the city. And I, we'd like to get you going and get that thing open as soon as possible. So that would be the motion I would make. Go ahead and repeat those numbers again, Councilman Hayden. So for the first five, the first two years is at 300 a month, which is lower than what they propose. Second two is at 400. The fifth year is at 500. That basically puts the, the total for the five years is 22,800. Your proposal was 17,100. That's a difference of 5,700, which if you do it yearly, that's 1140, which is less than $100 a month the first five years based on your numbers and the city's numbers the staff recommendation and for the second five we leave it at 500. that's the motion okay i want to make sure we're correct on this we do have a motion on the floor we would need a second to continue is that correct and then we can discuss afterwards is that correct we can discuss the motion all right so Councilman Hafen has offered a motion. Do we have a second for that motion? Second. Councilman Guest Davison has seconded the motion. I would like to get some discussion on this particular motion, um, particularly from the applicant himself, to see where he stands on that, that offer. Go ahead, sir. Um, thank you, Councilman. I, I, I think that that's a, a fair offer. I don't know if uh, the council would be willing to you know, put an out clause in there that, you know, to your point, if it was a hardship, you know, if we could not use that parking, you know, if that was possible. The agreement as it stands right now does have a clause in there that does allow at any time for either party to come back and renegotiate the agreement. So we, we do have some language about that there. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion on this particular motion? Okay, seeing none, we will call for the vote. That motion does carry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.